What's going on guys, Caesar Media here. Today I'm installing a new head unit in my Evo. I bought this Pioneer DEH X6800BT. Now, I usually spend hours and hours researching what I buy, but this time I just went on Amazon and I just kind of sorted the head unit listing by reviews. And this one had really good reviews and it was only like 100 bucks, so I picked it up. The reason why I am downgrading it's because the Kenwood uh, single dim pop-up style DVD player, CD player, was starting to wear out and it was starting to slow down a bit. So I figured I would just get something cheap in the meantime because all I do really is just play music. I don't watch videos when I'm driving the Evo and when I have the music on, it's really kind of like a background music, uh, background sound and I'm not really listening to it so much. So, you know, this is something simple. Um, if you're looking for something fancy that's going to go in your show car, you might want to look around and get something better. But this will be fine for my race car. So, what you get, of course, you get the head unit, you got the front face plate. And um, this I already wired up to the stock harness. But basically what you get is this portion right here that I'm holding coming out of the uh, coming out of my hand uh, essentially this is the pioneer aftermarket harness and you want to tie that into Evo harness so this is what's connected in the Evo and this actually came out of my Evo and I didn't film that process because I already had the Kenwood DVD player which is aftermarket if you have OEM radio system which I really doubt because um, stock Evo 8, 9 radio system is very crappy, so I'm sure previous owner has already replaced that. Um, but if you have OEM radio here up after market, you're gonna want to get something like this and slide it in into the dash, into the radio section, and that will essentially trigger this little tab on the side right here, and that would pop up, allowing you to pull the head unit forward. And again, I apologize because I didn't film this, but every car is going to be different because it's uh, it's going to have different aftermarket head units, but it's essentially uh, the same concept. You just put one of these tabs in and pull that out. Now, the first thing I did, which I didn't film because it's really easy to do, is hook up this Pioneer connector to the stock Evo connector. Uh, it's very easy to do. It's not like wiring up my RX-7 with the VA engine in it. Red goes to red, which is power. Yellow is also power. Uh, same thing, yellow to yellow. And purple here is like one of the speakers. So let's say this is front left speaker. You're going to have purple solid and purple with white. One's ground, one's power. Um, let's uh, put the black aside here. And you're going to have, similar to the purple, green. Solid green and green with stripe. Again. That's for one of the speakers, one is power, one is ground. And you also have gray, which is one power, one ground. And you also have white, which is one power, one ground. So super easy to install. These, you just want to match the color as is. And of course the black here is going to be a ground, chassis ground. So I'm going to hook up this uh, ground to one of the uh, bolts on the car in the under the dash and I'm going to show you that in a second Orange I believe which is not hooked up because I don't really care for is uh, is um, Connected to your headlights. So when you turn on the headlights, it will dim the head unit and Blue I think is the remote which I don't really care for because I'm not going to use it So I just said you know what I don't I don't need these um, So I'm just gonna leave it as is Enough items are hooked up so that the radio will function. So now I'm going to go into the car and show you how this is installed. Alright guys, now I am in the EVO. Uh, looking at the head unit here. So let's look at the back here first. Um, this is the connection that the harness goes into. And uh, you got RCA cable connections here, the red, whites, which I'm not going to use today. One for microphone because this has Bluetooth connection. So if you want to talk while you're driving on Bluetooth, you can do that. Um, I'm going to hook it up, but I think it's going to be useless because my car is so loud anyways. The other is going to be auxiliary input. 
even though again this thing has Bluetooth so that you can play music, Pandora, uh, Spotify, whatever off your phone wirelessly. Uh, you can also connect it uh, by 3.5 millimeter cable. And over here, this strange looking hole that's about my finger width is the radio input. So obviously the harness is gonna go into my connector I made earlier. Just clip that in here. Now I'm gonna look into the core of the Evo here, the harness. Um, let me get the zoom there. All right, so the white connector you see right here, that's where my um, radio harness will hook into. This here is actually the radio input, the antenna input. So this is gonna go into this hole right here that I just pointed out. So other than that, you just wanna run your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input. Now, as for the ground for radio, which is this cable here, I can't really find a good grounding location. So what I'm gonna do is take out my gauge pod and ground it on the inside of the gauge pod. You have seen me do this many times. You have seen my gauge installation video. You know how I ground my gauges, but you want to pop those out and there's one screw here, one screw here. Once you remove that, this whole thing will come out. All right, now everything is hooked up for now, although it looks kind of dirty and everything is messy. Uh, the ground has been mounted up top on the right here. If you can see where my pinky is. And uh, all the other connectors has been hooked up. So now I'm gonna start up the car and see if it works. Oh, yeah, there you go. It works. Set up, yes. 12, uh, clock doesn't matter, quit, yes. Oh, that was a quick setup. So it looks like radio is working and I am good to go. And this is how the final product looks installed. It's not the prettiest head unit out there, but that's okay. Uh, and it's definitely not prettier than the Kenwood flip-up I used to have. But the sound quality out of this Pioneer is so much better than the Kenwood I had. It really makes the crappy Mitsubishi speakers that I have in the Evo um, sound like a bold sound system. It's so much better. And I also hook up the lights to it, of course, so it will dim when I'm driving at night. And that's it. Bluetooth is hooked up to my phone which is playing YouTube right now. Just like that. Well, this awesome system. I really highly recommend this head unit if you're looking for something cheap and you don't really care too much about what it looks like. Great head unit, sounds awesome, Bluetooth works great, and that's really what I want the head unit to do. So. Thanks guys for watching this video. It's pretty straightforward. It's not like running up a cafe racer or the RX-7. It's pretty much self-explanatory. But let me know if you have any questions. And thanks again for watching my video and see you in the next video. Peace.